So now we know we're going to tackle how to graph linear inequality in two variables. So here, given x minus 2y greater than 4. So the first step is you're going to find for two points. So that the two points, you're going to plot it on the Cartesian plane. Okay, so, so we're just going to use, uh, you're, you're just going to get the x and y intercept. So, you assign for your x or for your y, and then you're go you can get a, an ordered pair x, y. You need two points. Okay, so for example, if your x is, uh, if your y is 0, so you need to solve that. So, from x minus 2y greater than 4, you just replace it with equal sign. Because we're going to find an, um, a boundary line here. So, boundary line here, so you need to use equal sign. So, if your y is 0, so minus 2 times y is 0 equals 4. So, x, 2 times 0 is 0. So, x minus 0 is definitely x. So, x is 4. So, you have an ordered pair for 0 or x intercept for 0. And then, next is if your x is 0 for the y intercept. So, substitute your x with 0, 0 minus 2y equals 4. So, the remaining is negative 2y. So, then you divide with negative 2. So, negative 2y divided by negative 2, that's y. 4 divided by negative 2, that is negative 2. So, you have your 0, negative 2. And then you plot the points. So, 4, 0 along the x-axis. Specifically, the positive x-axis. And then 0, negative 2, that is along y-axis. Specifically, negative y-axis. 0, negative 2. Afterwards, you connect. By the way, in connecting the points, you're going to decide whether you use dashed line or solid line. For dashed line, if we're just given less than or greater than. But since you're given only here greater than, there's no or equal to, that means to say you're going to use dashed line. Okay, connect using dashed line. So, this is the second step after finding or plotting the two points. And then next, you decide where you're going to shade. So, to decide where you're going to shade, you need to use a uh, test point. So, test point must not be any point in the line or on the line. So, so that it's easy for you to use test points, so just use 0, 0 or the origin, the point origin. So, test point. Zero, zero. Okay. Substitute to the given inequality x minus 2y greater than 4. So, x is 0 minus 2, your y is 0. Greater than 4. So, 2 times 0 is 0. So, 0 minus 0 is definitely zero, greater than 4. But if, as you can see, 0 is never greater than 4. So this is false. So when your statement is false, mean to say the given test point does not satisfy the given inequality. Meaning that 0, 0 or the origin is not a solution to the given inequality. So that means to say 0, 0 is not a solution. So meaning the, the shading is not towards that 0, 0. But it is far away or away from zero zero so the shade so meaning the shading will be down to the right okay, this is the shading so the shading part that that is the region where in which you can select i mean you can see the solution okay any points there that is in the region shaded region they are solution but um remember the points along or in on in the line or on the line they are not solution since we use the 
um, dash line. It means to say those points in the line or in the line are not included in the solution. Of you obviously class because there is no R equal to in our um, symbol inequality symbol. Okay, that's it.